first thing we established that setup was again a little bit too wide with the feet and yeah. as we said that can actually restrict in terms of your ability to rotate sure. so therefore when you try and make a back swing if we sort of put a line now down through sort of your, your head there in the in the golf ball as you swing back now to make a back swing you've got to rotate and sway off the golf ball right. so unless you come back to that spot very difficult to actually sort of be consistently striking the golf ball as a result then when you hit the golf ball your club will often bottom out now behind the golf ball. Yep. And if we're hitting the ground this way behind it, you'll tend to then play golf, especially in the winter, just to miss the ground. Because, you know, hitting the ground behind the ball is a definite no-no. Yes. We lose a lot of energy and the ball doesn't go anywhere near the, as far as we want to. Yep. So, therefore, you just try and thin the shot to try and pick it off the top. And especially in the rough or the slightly sort of soggier fairways we get nowadays, the ball yeah. just seems to sit down. Yeah. There's always things behind the ball, even on the fairway. Worm cast, mud. I mean, if you think all the footprints down the fairway, the fairway right. sort of undulates a little bit. Yeah. You never seem to get a perfectly flat lie. So if your club's always bottoming out a little bit, as we see when you come back down now, not quite getting back to that circle, or sort of the blue line, hitting the ball a little bit on the way up. Now, this one on the right-hand side as we swing back, okay. You can see there now, much more over the golf ball there with your backswing. Yeah. Your feet were narrower to start with. So that's giving you the chance to rotate more effectively. Now, as we come back to the golf ball, we can get yourself back and you can see the club now just sort of coming down into impact there a nice strike head was a smidgen behind the golf ball if we're honest there okay it could yeah. move a little bit further that okay. way but i think what happened was when you were trying to stay centered you were not moving on the way back but they're not moving through there's what we try to do for me is on the back swing we stay centered as we rotate back on the through swing we then move towards target right to release all the power to the golf ball okay right. so ideally what we'd like to sort of see is your chest a little bit further left. Not much more left, but just a smidgen more to the left, okay. just to move that ball, that club sort of contact, a little bit more towards target. But as we swing through there now, you can see not quite as much movement. If we look at the follow-through positions of that one, compared to that one, that one's certainly more of a follow-through, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're trying, in some ways, almost like an elastic band being pulled back to then swing through. Right. But if your golf swing's doing this, at the same time as doing that, it's just never going to be consistent, okay? Yeah. We want to try and get one variable, and that's going to be just a rotation of your body, we you rotate around your spine. But nine times out of ten, when I say to someone, don't move as far back on the takeaway, they then don't move anywhere on the through swing, okay? Yeah. Even yeah. though you've been doing it before, yeah. your brain, is almost like when you say to someone to rub your belly, tap your head, yeah. your brain is sort of thinks of one thing, it either is both tapping or both rubbing. It yeah. can't sort of distinguish yeah. between not moving one way but still, still moving, moving the other way, way yeah. you often get it with guys especially like footballers and rugby players who've got quite leggy golf swings have a lot of leg action on the way back we yeah. try and resist the legs on the way back and the legs don't move at all on the way through because so, yeah. your brain's thinking about just not Keep moving it. them at yeah. all and it's almost yeah. that breakdown of when's the back swing started and finished and then when's the down swing starting most guys sort of just think oh the swing is just one thing and they can't sort of distinguish the back and the through swing so your brain's thinking okay right don't move on the way back don't move on the way back oh ball's been hit <laughs> and if you think about it it's a split second you think from the top of your back swing there you haven't swayed there so from sort of five point or four point five seven seconds to impact is four point eight seven so it's like three hundredth of a second you've got to try and your brain going okay right i've got to move to the target <laughs> right, yeah so it's not yeah. a lot but this is why i say if we yeah. work on that one thing yes you can go away now for sort of a few weeks and so on and practice that. That's what I'll do. And then I think when we come back there next time, maybe before Christmas, maybe in the New Year's, how the weather goes, yeah. we'll get on the golf course. Unless when you start playing golf, you're putting or something goes really wrong, or you're short going with your bunkers or whatever you want to work on, we can look at other aspects. But try and then get it on the golf course yeah. and look in a bit more detail about the choice of club, how you think as a golfer, not just how you swing the golf club. Because right. for me, we talked about the sway. So that ticks the box. We talked the first lesson about the length of back swing being shorter and the through swing being more. Yeah. We ticked the box there. So we're progressing with the swing. It's now progressing with you as a player out on the golf right. course and scoring better. So makes yeah. sense? Absolutely. Good.